So tonight we're on beautiful Buckham's Bay I'm with my camera crew and lovely daughter Erin. And this episode is all about catching smallmouth bass from a paddle boat with finesse worms. So we're going to be doing a little bit of drop shotting and I'll show you how to set that hook up in a second. But we're just going to use two different kinds. We're going to use some uh, finesse, four inch tiki finesse worms from Wave and this net bait. It's, uh, it's another finesse worm. And this one's green pumpkin and this one's black with red flakes. So both are good and both have won me some money in tournaments lately. Typically when you're doing drop shotting you'll use a very small hook. I have special hooks that I use for drop shot, shotting but I just happen to be out of them so I'm just picking this very small straight shank hook. So when you're drop shotting what you want to do is uh, tie a palmar knot. So fold your line over like that. Leave about two feet or so. Three feet of a leader behind. And what you're going to do is fold that line over and then shove that through the eye of the hook. Depending on your hook size it can be very complicated. Or So once you get it through like that what you're going to want to do is make a bit of a knot like that and then put your hook through that opening. And once you do that you'll end up with something like that. Well then. Yeah. And then what you do is you just pull it tight. And what that'll end up doing for you is once you put your weight on, it keeps your hook uh, on an angle away from your line. So what you want to end up with is basically this effect right here. So from your hook down to your weight, which I'm going to tie on in a second, you're going to want your hook looking like that. And that'll you'll see why in a minute. So it's important when you're drop shotting, it's uh, basically it's a finesse type of fishing, so use small baits, either worms or small uh, gulp minnows or something like that. Now, a lot of people will tie their bait on like this here. Another way to do it is actually hooking it wacky style. And I'm going to start off by hooking it wacky style, and that's what wacky style looks like. If we don't have any luck wacky style, I'll go back to... Fish on! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You almost got me wet. Got a little scrapper here. And there you have it. Smallmouth bass from a paddle boat. <laughs> Let that little guy go. That's a good fighter. And that's how you catch a smallmouth bass from a paddle boat. Set up drop shot, st drop shot style. Now let's see if we can catch another one. Maybe a bigger one. So the actual technique to drop shotting, I mean, you saw a while ago I just actually threw it out. And Basically, I got to hit as soon as it hit the water, but typically when you're drop shotting, you're fishing in anywhere from 10 to 20 feet of water, maybe even deeper, 30, 35 feet, depending on where the fish are. You're, want, you're going to want to let your line go right to the bottom. That's why you use the weight. You can tell when it's on bottom, obviously, because you got all this extra slack in your line that you see right there, so it's slack. What you're going, wanna, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reel up until you feel that weight and then basically with your with your with not a lot of pressure on your line you're going to want to just wiggle your rod tip like this here 
And what that does is it gets your bait moving in the water, whether, whether it's a worm or, or a minnow. You can do it for a few seconds and stop, depending. It's all personal how you want to do it. But basically, that's it. So with semi-taut line, you don't want to pull that weight off the bottom. You just want to basically let your worm descend back down towards the bottom a little bit and just get some movement with it. Another way, and you're going to want to have your rod at about 9 o'clock, by the way. But another way some people do it is they just hold it in one spot and let the current or the wind or whatever blow the, uh, the bait around, move the, move the bait around a little bit underneath the water as well. So, but it's whatever works for you, basically, depending on the situation, depending on the fish, so a different tactic might work. That noise you hear in the background, by the way, is our local fire department out practicing and making sure that their equipment is working properly. So. For all our loyal followers out there, we apologize for that technical <laughs> difficulty, but tonight at least we caught a fish and showed you how to do a little bit of drop shotting and, uh, and also proven that you can catch bass out of a paddle boat. I'm actually considering entering my next bass tournament in a paddle boat and save some fuel. Go a little greener. <laughs>